Hello and welcome everyone. Uh, this is Charles Harper. I'm going to talk about how you would do a monthly subscription if you wanted to deliver it in Academy Pro. And it's a bit of a workaround, but it's one that you can do. Now, what you would do here is we're going to go into the course contents. And so we're going to assume then that what you're going to be doing is you're going to be adding specific lessons. Now, when you add in the lessons, what you're doing on a monthly basis is you're adding in new lessons. So, for example, let's say that you had a lesson and uh, it was going to be a specific course. Now, probably what you would do here is you would make one lesson one course. So, for example, this may be your Facebook course and you're going to deliver this course as one video inside of the lesson. And so what you do here is you would then add in this lesson. Of course, this would be on YouTube, wherever it is you're delivering from, but you're going to deliver one lesson at a time. And basically what you would do is you would add in new lessons in order to keep individuals subscribed monthly. So for example, this would be a new lesson for a new month. Now there is going to be a manual component to this. So for example, what you're going to do here is you're going to go into your members area. When you come to this members area, you're going to notice that you have individuals that you're going to need to either keep subscribed or you're going to unsubscribe them. So let's assume then that you find out through your payment system that someone has stopped their monthly payment. Now typically what you may think of doing is you may go into the action. And what you might want to do here is you might want to then just disable that individual. However, if we were to go do that, what you're going to find is that when we go and we seek to update that person, then Academy Pro is going to then ask for their access level and it's going to return them to that point. So that person is still going to be part of the product. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to delete that individual from the member area. And you'll notice we've just deleted one person from the member area. That means then that if they go to log in, they're not going to have access to the member area anymore. So that's going to be one of the manual parts if you choose to make a recurring payment and you continue to add to one course. Now you could add several videos at a time. However, that's going to be a little unwieldy for one course. And since the way to do this on a monthly basis is you're going to give people access to you're going to be giving access to basically what's inside of Academy Pro as one course. You're going to want to manage it by giving people the entire course in one lesson. But if you have someone managing this for you, you can try to add multiple lessons for a particular course. However, again, I would recommend that if you're going to do this in this way inside of Academy Pro, then what you're going to do is you're going to have one video per one lesson. And then each lesson is going to be the entire course spliced together. Now having individuals to be part of one course, this is a workaround if you want to deliver your entire membership in Academy Pro. But again, it is possible and all of the other elements of a membership site actually work to your favor, mainly that Academy Pro is going to be sending your update emails to the individuals as they become part of your course. Now one way to make this easy for your customer if you use Vimeo as your host is to use chapters. So for example, you're going to see here that basically what's going to happen is when you embed the video, you're going to be embedding videos that you cut up based on where the chapters fall. And this is going to be your individual videos where they begin and end. So you're going to have one long video, but basically you're going to make sure that the end of each video starts a new chapter. Now, in terms of video, chapter markers are available for the account level at Pro and above. So what you'll need is you'll need at least the Pro level of account. This is going to be, as of the recording of this video, $20 billed annually. But then this would take and make it easy for your customer to navigate the video, even though you're going to have one long video for each course. Now, if you're using YouTube as a host, you can do the same thing. What you're going to do is you're going to go inside of the details of your YouTube video and inside of the description area, here's what you're going to do. Um, you're going to find a place in the video where basically you're going to be putting in the timestamp, right? And I wouldn't put it in here. I'd probably wait, put it down here at the bottom. What you do is you'd start with a time of 000 and you'd maybe put this as start. And then if you know your first video starts at 
let's say the one minute and 34 second mark, what you're gonna do is you're gonna come in here, you're going to maybe say 134, and then you're going to say, uh, in this case, we'd say updates, then we might go to uh, 47, and we might then say, you know, second updates, and those would be your chapters. And that's another way, a workaround, if you're gonna, if you're gonna use YouTube as your host. So let's go ahead and save this. And basically what we do then is if I go to view this video on YouTube, all right, let's take this all the way back. Let's stop this video. And then what you're going to see here is you'll see the first break here where we set it. You see the second break where we set it. And basically what you'd be doing is you'd be setting up different chapters. And basically every chapter would be one video when you set up and consolidate or splice together all of the videos into one. Okay, so hopefully that was helpful for you. Have a great day and a pleasant tomorrow. Take care.